One day after water arrived at the Rio Grande, a man is dead after drowning at the canal by the border highway on Padres. That is according to Border Patrol official. KTSM 9 News reporter Skylar Soto is live in West El Paso tonight. And Skylar, what more can you tell us about this incident? Before the person was pronounced dead, he was taken to the hospital in critical condition. The water rescue team assisted Border Patrol in this incident. And unfortunately, it's not uncommon during this time of year, especially starting in June. They were able to pull the individual out and transport him uh, in critical condition, critical condition to the hospital. A sight all too familiar. The water in the Rio Grande Canal has made its way through El Paso, and as migrants continue to illegally cross into the states, many of them choose to jump into the water. But it's not as calm as it looks. They are very deceiving in regards to, you know, they look very slow moving, but they're designed to move water. And so when you get to the center of a canal, it's pushing water you can't see on the top. Once you get in, the other problem you have now is the canal banks are very slick. Making it easy to jump in, but not as easy to get out. In the last two years, the El Paso Fire Department reported a total of 40 drownings, and the rescues are carefully done. Because of the flow, we can't pull someone directly out. We have to let them flow until they start guiding towards the wall, and then we can start pulling them out a lot easier with their help also. The water rescue team will throw rope into the water so the person who's stuck can catch it. But the biggest challenge is the current. It adds to the weight of the person uh, or to the difficulty of pulling them out. So it, it's a very difficult operation to do. So we ask that, you know, stay out of the irrigation canals. Now, Borstar are the experts in these sorts of rescues, and when they aren't available, there's often a delay in response time in order to wait for the next first responders to come out and help. Live in West El Paso, I'm Skylar Solto, KTSM 9 News.